Dereyadan, Dereyadan televizyon, televizyon. Fanya kamera be. Photo model. Is that your well, what you make your earnings on? Well, yeah, kind of. Uh, one of the all the all the stuff I'm doing. Okay. I'm working like a model. I'm working like with the, the social media. I'm doing the the beer products stuff mm. and clothing. I'm doing like a MMA organization. I'm doing. Uh, I'm working with uh, like with youths that have problems mm. from the streets. Mm. I'm helping them. That 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 was supposed to be my like my main job for uh, for like one or two years. In, in which area are you working with the youths? Uh, like youth with, with anger issues. Okay. So that's the priority, anger issues. Do you have any anger problems? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Most of the, most of the time when I meet you, or I see you. You're laughing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can, can you so, can you consider yourself as a happy guy? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm a happy guy. 99% I'm a happy guy. Of course. <laughs> Should have so, to be. So what happened with social media? Because you you have like a hundred thousand followers yeah. on Instagram. Like is that's crazy amount. Yeah. What uh, happened? It it all happened. It all started like uh, with the beard. So right. the beard was the main main uh, whoop, the main uh, Oh shit. Right yeah. now you have uh, like a hundred thousand followers 110. on Instagram. One hundred and ten. That's a lot. Uh, for not being a beautiful girl with titties. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and ass photos and everything. But no, but uh, it all started like six years ago when I lived in Norway, and uh, I, w I was living in Norway for like two years, uh, working mm. at the oil uh, oil rigs. Oil oh platforms. yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> the thing was that. So you're out on the open ocean, you just just do your thing. So I was like, fuck this, fuck everything. I just gonna let the hair grow, or like the beard grow. And I was working so a lot, so I was like on the platform for like six months, off and on, of course. And uh, then when I, when I start looking really like shit, I was like, I have to go to a barbershop and just fix everything. So, so you have the uh, Bradana Fevang studio, like barbershop, so I was, I went to him and like, brother, just do whatever you want to, just fix this bush. So I was just sitting there and just talking to people and he was like cutting me and everything in like one hour. And then he turned me, turned me over to the, to the mirror I was like, shit, okay. He was just like, okay, let it grow now, just let it be. So next time, like a one a month, come back, we're gonna fix it again and just come back. And then just started growing, growing, growing and Instagram was just happening stuff. People was just, yeah. Uh, into beard basically yeah into beard and uh, all of these brands and people starting to contact me and doing like commercial and stuff for them so it just happened and then mm. they just then they just spread everywhere to everything like a disease sure that i did this uh, i mean i all, all from from swedish magazines to serbia magazines to men's health to uh in dubai uh, all the magazines, uh, like the seventh, seventh magazine, one magazine called. Uh, I was on the on the front cover and back, and I uh, I did some like something for uh, for Burberry, Burberry, something for Burberry in in uh, <laughs> Burberry, <laughs> Burberry. <laughs> this Burberry. <laughs> Who is this Burberry? Burberry. <laughs> I, I was I, I was starting to talk like Arabic. <laughs> what is Burberry? Uh, Which one was the best? The, like the funniest, the best. The funniest. The, let's say the funniest then. Oh shit, man! All, all, all of the funniest 
Nå, jeg kan ikke se. <laughs> Everything with a naked chick is funny. Ta! When I first, the first thing I saw on your Instagram, it was like you was driving that Ferrari. Like that's a famous one of, I believe one of the best moments yeah. in Instagram on your account. <laughs> you were driving this Ferrari. You were dressed in this uh, Dubai official yeah, it's dress. Called, uh, oh, it was, um, yeah, oh, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, the, the, the white, the, the, the white, white whole, the, the, the whole with thing. the ninja, with the ninja suit. Right, and. I don't know because it's Dubai. Everybody's driving with Ferrari. Like, yeah, it I know. Was special. But, uh, what happened? What happened? I did it. I did it. Maybe in a in a, in a kind of different way. Right. I was driving the Ferrari in Dubai with speedos, naked. I was driving the Ferrari like a maniac. I was driving the Ferraris, uh, just <laughs> fooling around. Maybe more than people, other people do. Mm. And uh, it got wider because I, I I don't know. People just. Um, I thought it was crazy. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was crazy and just funny and just what the fuck is this better guy doing with the Ferrari? I was just eating cheeseburger and, and like driving the Ferrari and dropping the cheeseburger and like shit, you know, mm. like fucking mm. standing up in the Ferrari and driving mm. and I, I, I just all of this fucked up stuff. Uh, I believe, I believe, I mean, you being a photo model is one thing, but the, the, the things that brings most attention is that you are funny, uh, you're a funny character to watch. Yeah. How, how has that uh, influenced you as a person? Like, have you always been funny? I, I, I've always been the, like the clown in the mm. class, in the school. Mm. Always been the, been the guy that make people laugh. Pe people laugh and, uh, and uh, I, I'm just being me. I don't know. I just, mm. I always just been me. Mm. So it's not, not a, the character is me. Mm. So mm. yeah, today I'm going to the, to, to the barbershop. I have to fix this this bush and this bush actually today i'm gonna i'm gonna because we talked to, to about beard and stuff today i'm gonna shorten this beard like this much wow yeah so that's a big thing for me the most i'm gonna cut it in six years wow wow that's a, that, yeah. it's a very sensitive yeah. process so i have to like pray to god or something before <laughs> the beard gods. The beard gods, yeah. <laughs> so first the barbershop, first breakfast, then barbershop, and then uh, we are going to. In Swedish, it's called naprapat, but I was trying to find out the, the the word in English. So Google Translate or whatever told me this. Naprapating. Naprapating. <laughs> so we are going to the naprapating later. <laughs> so this time I, I injured my back. It was at the gym, but it was just at the warm up. I was just yeah. warming up. Just doing uh, okay. like jumping jacks and, and and nothing special, and then it just cracked something and my and my and my and my discs and my back was like this. Oh wow! So I was I was literally going like this. I was I was all oh, all oh, crooked, all oh, fucked up. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, one of the most common misconceptions with when it comes to you as a person, I believe, is. Uh, Oh, does he take drugs? Yeah, that that is probably drugs and alcohol and like partying and stuff. Uh, uh, of course, I've been in companies, people doing everything, yeah. everything. All my traveling around the world, everything, all, mm. all the countries, all the parties, all the uh, the things I've been through. I have seen it all, 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 all in front of me, behind me, everything. Mm. But I never, never, never taking any kind of drug or drinking alcohol. I've never been drunk, people. I have never been drunk in my life. I, I have never taken a beer, never taken a glass of wine. I have never drinking champagne, never. Mm. I have poured champagne and shit over, yeah, <laughs> tables and people, maybe. But I never drink it, never. So How come? My thing was, I didn't like everything that was carbonated oh, so I'm missing a little ling, when I got this this like bubble water in my in my mouth I was like Bleh. so since then I, I couldn't drink that so all my first years when I was like a kid I didn't drink that I just drink milk and juice and water so and when, you, when you got old, older 
it was the same. So it's uh, you get used to it. Yeah, you just get used to it, and you're just drinking this stuff. People, hey, take a Coca-Cola. No, I'm not drinking Coca-Cola, you know, because it's, it's this. I can't. I as soon as I get it in my mouth, I'm just like ah, that's fucked up. And then you have to also take me consider because of my ADD, I'm, all, all my hi hyperactive mm -hmm. like personality. It's good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. You know, so people like actually like, hey, bro, don't drink anymore. You know, it's too much. Like, I'm, I'm just drinking water all the night. But it's, <laughs> it's no problem for me. Is that is that a uh, something that your doctor has told you or something that you know? Well, that actually, like this because of in my time before, for like 25, 30 years ago. Nowadays, doctors are just handing ADD and all of this all of these combinations out to everybody uh, in my time it wasn't like that you were just different mm. so I was just a kid with with a lot of energy and uh, and a hyperactive kid so but now when I'm older yeah they all told me yeah you got it <laughs> you got it for sure so, yeah for sure so so uh, of course that you have the medicine and like and stuff, but no, I, I don't. Oh, I don't. you never took no, the medicine? No, 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 not for that. No, I don't want. Do you think it was good that you didn't take medicine? Yeah. Or yeah, I think if the medicine the medicine calms you down, of course, if you have you have different kinds of ADD. Mm. Um, you don't like the that. doctors are too fast, just handing out pills and and, the, and the combinations. I I don't. You're just different. You just need to find a way to handle your 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 uh, hyperactivity or whatever and just point it to the right way so mm. like i did maybe Ugh. okay let's let's talk about something sensitive something sensitive yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my wife my wife was like what happened with that girl that he was together with yeah yeah and uh let's talk about that if you want it's 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 many people asking of course not only your wife. Uh, yeah. It is your wife. It was your wife, or no, 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 no. Uh, it was my girlfriend. Girlfriend, oh, yeah. okay. One year. No, it. I, 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 I know her for like ten years, so we didn't know about each other a long time. Yeah, and was we were together one year. Uh, yeah, stuff happened and so on and so on. So I, I've been avoiding that question or like so because. Uh, we both are some kind of celebrities or whatever in Serbia and uh, or like public persons rather called so and uh, so sure we are public and and everybody knows about us and we like share the, all of everything with the public but some things that's private gonna stay private brother mm. so yeah that's that's like probably it I'm gonna share with you So this is one of my best friends. He just passed by. What you want to do? This is, this is my brother Alex. He's my barber, my barbero. What do you say, barber? Spanish. El barbero. El barbero. So today he's gonna cut my beard like this. This is a uh, new really? open. Yes. <laughs> he's you're gonna cut my beard very mucho, very mucho, my brother. So what will you do if all your social media channels just disappeared one day and you just started off from zero? Well, I, I think I. <sighs> Yeah, I will start over with just make a new account, but I don't think I, I, I would uh, put on all that time and put in all that time I'm, I'm doing like now maybe, because I think for me, uh, your main job or your main focus should not be on social media just because of maybe if something happens and you get hijacked and deleted or erased or if it, if Someday you maybe got a lot of you got kids or whatever something mm. in your life you know uh, stops you from going active on social media. Mm. Then all of your your income and everything stops. You know, mm. so it's not so maybe good to get 
so attached to your social media like that like mm. you know what i mean so it's good to have something uh, outside the outside the media you know so so you can do whatever happens with your accounts or whatever mm. oh shit <laughs> how, how, how do you feel i can see my trunk look at this <laughs> how does it feel shit i'm always when i do like this i can always grab mm. like so it, it's 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 sticking out, you know. Right. Now I, I I can't even grab it. It's like, here here here's my chin. So it's almost the same. Are you, how are you feeling? Oh, it's different, but it's I like it. I like it. I can see my my you can see my 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 throat. Uh. It feels like the mustache is really a, a important part yeah. of the beard. Yeah. Without the mustache. Is your signature? Yeah. Signature. I got all this here. <laughs> uh, it's not a Ferrari, but yeah, it feels good this anyway. Is my, this is my. Well, actually, this in car. In between <laughs> car. <laughs> yeah, no, but it, this car actually was my in between car because uh, I had like. Uh, I had the uh, BMW M. M uh, M3 mm. uh, cab. Uh, so that because we live in a in a in a country like Sweden, when mm. it's uh, summertime, it's good. But when it's winter time, it's winter time. Mm. So mm. Oh. Uh. so a thing that you do when you are Snapchatting is that you're sticking out your head from the yeah, from main the window. I know that you you you've been telling the audience that don't do that. <laughs> but, but, but you often do that. I'm doing it. Yeah. Uh, well, um, how know. how did that, how did that came about? <laughs> Is it because of the beard, like flow? Yeah, exactly. The beard when you got the got the wind, mm. uh, just just uh, when you got the wind against your your uh, beard, it's just flying around mm. freely. So. When you do the slow mo, mm. slow mo of the beard outside the window, it it gets really, really. A nice it, it looks, yeah, nice effect. So, mm. <laughs> mm. but then it then it's just flipped out. And I was, I don't know if you saw my clips on Instagram a long time ago from Norway, mm. when I'm eating ice cream while while I'm while I'm driving my car. <laughs> the time. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, and just my head outside the window with the, eating ice cream. I'm driving the car with my knees. Mm. Uh, it's, it's ice cream, cream, everything just flying. <laughs> and it's fucked up. One funny part about the, the ice cream story is that mm. when I got the sponsorship from Moritz Ice, I it was in Serbia. They they saw me in in their store just eating the ice cream, and just doing my my movies, right? My fucked up movies, and uh, so he contacted me and yeah, blah blah blah. We are meeting, yeah, we come to terms and everything. And then he was like, yeah, I'm gonna pack when you're like flying home. I'm like, I'm flying home like two days, three days, you know. He's like, okay, I'm gonna pack like all of this ice cream different tasters you can bring it with you to sweden and you can like make videos so we have like what <laughs> bring bring ice cream to sweden how you know it's mm. like yeah no problem like i'm doing that all the time so they told me about this like dry ice it can actually like keep it cold for 24 hours mm -hmm. so and when i when i just like arrive home after like six hours flying and car trips over there over here it was stone cold ice cream. It was still like I just mm. took it out from the freezers. So I was like, I was impressed. I, I, I didn't know about that. I mean, how are you feeling? Yeah. So it's just checking me out. Mm. I'm fucked up. Mm. Oh, it's good. How are you feeling? Yeah. Uh, I'm crooked. Mm. It's my discus, discus hernia L4, L5. Mm. I, I don't know. They're, they're just fucked. We'll see what he's saying. Mm. So, <laughs> did you get any help by the doctors? No, the, the doctors. I, I was at the emergency. I was even. Uh, I would call the, the ambulance also. Mm -hmm. ambulance, huh? When it happened? 
Yeah, yeah. I, I, I called ambulance when it happened. Uh, I couldn't move. Uh, I mean, I called them like the day after, of course, because I, I can do everything my, myself. You know? mm. <coughs> but I couldn't move from the bed, you know. So I was, and I was actually on, uh, only calling the ambulance because, like, give me some morphine so I can get up from this bed. Mm. So, uh, yeah, they gave they gave me like two big bottles of morphine and, yeah. I moved as much as I could. It still hurt, you know, but yeah, yeah. fuck it. Uh, yeah, and the doctors just, yeah, you have your old discosonia, here, take some pills, go home, and rest. So, yeah, hear that. You stay, you see the free from Okay, Ducky. Yeah. We, we tried this new idea of uh, documenting, following a friend. And we did it today with Ducky. Yeah. First uh, episode. First episode. You never know how it's gonna be, but I felt I got a whole new perspective on who is Ducky and what he does with his um, social media and uh, his life. Uh, very exciting. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below. Uh, Please follow Ducky. It's awesome trip with a lot of amazing follow stuff me. that catch he does. And yeah, catch on the flip side. Bye bye, people. Shoot that. <laughs>